Hello and welcome to drillingcontractor.org. I'm Kelly Ainsworth at the 2017 ICOTA conference in Houston. I'm with Bruce Reichert, Chief Technology Officer of Tenaris Coiled Tubes, who co-authored a paper presented at the conference on the deployment of a new coiled tubing technology and a new sour service grade. Welcome Bruce, how are you today? Uh, thank you very much, it's good to be here. Tenaris has developed a new coiled tubing technology that has a consistent microstructure throughout the string. How was this achieved? To understand that, let me just describe the conventional coil tubing so you, we can appreciate what the difference is. With the conventional coil tubing, we uh, form the strip and then we make a lot of different types of welds in the coil tubing. In the process of doing that, we change the microstructure quite a bit. With the new process, we take that and then we heat the entire length of the string up to a very high temperature, let's say 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the process, we change all of the microstructure to make it one consistent, uniform type of microstructure. So all of the welds and all of the base metal all, all become the same after the heat treatment. And you've deployed this technology in the field for about 15 months with 100 strings. What sort of performance results have you seen? You know, now that we've got a year or a year and a quarter of track record, and we've got really cooperative customers who are sharing all our information back, we're seeing the kind of performance that we really hoped for. Our customers are typically getting more than double the life and it's allowing them to do different types of coil tubing applications that wouldn't have been possible before with the conventional tubing. Can you tell us about the sour fatigue performance of the new HT95 grade? And what sort of testing has been done to establish this performance? This heat treatment process improves the sour performance of the tubing just in general. So we expected that we were going to have better sour performance compared to our conventional tubing. We originally developed the HT125 and then the HT110, and now the HT95. Now, you'd say, why are you going down in strength? Regardless of any type of tube, higher strength can be an enemy for H2S resistance. Now, we get a lot better performance with the heat-treated product, but to really make the best optimum sour performance, we took all of that technology and put it in a slightly lower strength tubing and what that delivers is the best sour performance of any coil tubing available. Thank you for joining us today, Bruce, to give us a closer look at these technologies. Thank you very much, Kelly. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.